It's the homecoming family and friends never wanted to have. Today they were there as the body of Lauren Gates was returned back to North Carolina. The Harney County native, just 20 years old, died during the floodwaters in a training exercise at Fort Hood last week. Our Amy Cutler filed this report from RDU earlier tonight. The body of private Eddie Ray Lauren Gates came home late Friday afternoon. Her family and friends on the tarmac at RDU for it. They tried to console one another, to support one another. But grief like this can be overwhelming. Gates was just 20 years old, a Triton High graduate, homecoming queen, whose dream it was to serve her country. And she did. Earlier this month, she was stationed at Fort Hood. Military officials confirming Gates was one of nine soldiers killed in a training exercise last week. No matter what branch of the service, we're all the same. We're all brothers and sisters. And when one of us goes, it takes a little piece of everybody's heart. And that's why Patriot Guard Gary McCoy and dozens of others volunteered to give Gates the homecoming she so deserved. It started as soon as the plane came in with a water cannon salute. The Army Honor Guard there to greet it. Then, of course, the casket was loaded into the hearse. And from there, it was on to the airport authority where the Patriot Guard, veterans like McCoy, were standing by. The family came around and thanked each of them. McCoy spoke with Gates' mother. I told her just exactly how I felt because my heart was breaking just as bad as hers. McCoy and the rest of the Patriot Guard then got on their motorcycles, escorting the hearse all the way down to Fayetteville and providing a little bit of comfort to this brave soldier's family who died serving our country. At RDU, Amy Cutler, CBS, North Carolina. Mm, heartbreaking. Gates was just at home visiting family and friends over the Memorial Day weekend. We have much more on how she's being remembered in our story right now on WNCN.com.